this brings us in. So those who are used to the older portfolio will notice um, it looks slightly different. Um, the, the timeline here is at the top instead of the bottom. It's front and centre, mainly because the schedule is, is very much what we're here to do. It's, it's a scheduling tool um, portfolio. And I think that's quite important to point out. So we're not doing cost management or anything else here. This is very much just the scheduling element. There's other tools like Tempofolio and things, which we can talk about later if, if you're interested, that will look after your EVM and your uh, revenues and costs and, and track that. You can baseline your costs as you go along. Everything we're doing here is about scheduling and forecasting our team's work to get as much done by as few people as possible as quickly as possible. So, um, the three tabs that we, that we work on, so remember I said when we're creating a plan, we're just tweaking the levers in each of our three areas? It's these three things at the top here. Our scope of work that we're planning for, the teams that are going to do the work, and releases, which is our time element. So I'll just show you in each of those three things, the options that you can tweak, and then we'll look at how we actually use it in real life, and how it's the information, how to interpret the information that's given it to us.